Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this 85 rated Carrasco player review with me, your boy FIFA 1 HD. Before we get into the review, as always, if you could hammer the hell out that like button if you do enjoy the video, that would really help me out. And if I can help you guys out in any way possible, maybe you want to know more about Carrasco, the team I used him in, or just FIFA 18 in general. Ask away anything at all in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer every single one of you. So, looking at the mental physical comparison, and you can see there's a lot to love here. His attack positioning is very, very good. His acceleration and sprint speed, so, so fast. Great in those areas. Agility is also right up there. Balance, not quite as good. You know, 71, but it's not too shabby. Uh, his strength isn't quite up to scratch, you know, at 59, but overall not too bad in that area. We move on and we see skill attributes comparison and it's very, very healthy. Ball control and dribbling there at 91. Oh my God, fantastic. 79 finishing is really solid on this card as well. Free kick accuracy, not too shabby. Long shots and shot power also very, very good. And his passing is decent. It's not amazing, it's not outstanding, but it's good. We also see four star weak foot and four star skills, which I love. High medium work rates, which also suit him to a T. And then a couple of uh, specialities and traits, including acrobat and the long shot taker trait. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the 85 rated Carrasco card were that he was an absolute mind blowing bargain. I cannot believe that an 85 rated player with a great nation in a strong league with the stats that he has is going for as cheap as he is. There are tons of Premier League players in a similar position with relatively similar stats who are rated 82, 83 max that are going for 50, 60K, which is absolute madness at the start of FIFA. Whereas this guy almost going under the radar completely and is only around 20. Now that is absolutely mind blowing because he is absolutely incredible. I loved using Carrasco. He is obviously ridiculously quick, which makes him a very usable winger within the game. No matter whether you're playing him at left midfield, left wing or left forward, he's ridiculously fast. He's got great acceleration and great sprint speed, so he can run very quickly over the short distances and the long, which means you can play him absolutely anywhere down that left flank. He is very good at using his pace for beating people. He's got really nice dribbling whereby you don't really have to do an awful lot. His touch when the ball comes into him is so, so good that he almost leaves the player for dead instantly anyway. So just a simple turn and go becomes a very, very advanced skill move in some ways. The way that he uses the ball is very, very good. And then you can just use his pace to get him behind and to get down the wing and makes it very, very easy to beat people. He does also have the four star skills and the incredible dribbling. So there are a variety of ways that you can beat your man, making him a really decent winger to use that will beat players all day long. He's great for cutting inside. What I love about him is he is a left midfielder with his preferred foot being the right side, which means cutting inside, getting the shot away, you open up that angle and it is very, very OP, which combined with his pace and dribbling is really, really easy to do, let me tell you. I scored an absolute ton of goals with him and found that his shooting was very strong indeed. 79 finishing overall may not seem like the most incredible stat ever, but it's actually really strong on what is a left midfielder. He also has really good attack positioning and incredible shot power, which gives him a great range of scoring goals. He does make really solid runs into the box, and he also has the ability to shoot from distance. His long shots aren't too bad, but definitely that shot power really helps him out, meaning that he can score from just outside the box or even a little bit further out. His passing is okay, it's neat and tidy. 78 overall doesn't really scream amazing, let's whip loads of crosses in with him. But he has good vision, his crossing is relatively strong, free kicks not too bad, short passing, long passing, all relatively okay and his curve is quite good. So while it's not standout, it's all very solid and you can definitely link up with other players in your team very easily with Carrasco. Overall, I absolutely loved using this card, I found him very overpowered really fun to use and I think for the money he's an absolute bargain yes 20k to a lot of people is a lot of money especially early on in FIFA but for an 85 rated player with those stats I think he is well worth it and if he was in the Premier League 
he would be going for a heck of a lot more I'm sure. So I've had to give him a really solid 8.5 out of 10 because there are a few things that could be a little bit better but overall as a gold card I think he is absolutely fantastic and well worth going out and using. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please hit that like button hit the subscribe and peace. <laughs>